Hello everybody, welcome to Season 4 Chalice Round 16 match. We've got Crystal Hunter not with Skaven, he's, he's gone with Underworld as an experiment. He has a legend gutter runner of course, um, with loads of skills and horns, claw mighty, blitzer, a legend rat ogre with loads of skills and uh, leader thrower there. So, you know, not a bad team. About, they're both about 1500 t TV, these two teams. Up against Zahu with Skaven. Also has Mighty Blow uh, Claw Tackle. But yeah, it doesn't have the horns that Chunter has. And of course, they cost the same TV because uh, Skaven need doubles for mutations. Or the secondaries, if you want to call them that. Doesn't have a Legend Gutter, but has, has three quite good looking gutters. And. He's got a bit of a rubbish one that he's benched. I guess he's taken randoms just to, uh, you know, to maximise TV, as it were. So yeah, let's. This is a god awful pitch, isn't it? Uh, is this Chunter's pitch? I mean, no offence, Chunter, but god damn you for using such an absolutely terrible, terrible pitch. And they've both got very boring, generic, red and black colours, so let's keep them on red and blue. And let's go. Another quick snap. Yeah, dodge, claw, is that two heads? <laughs> two heads, break, tackle, block, and armbar, I think it's got armbar as well. It's a ball sacking ogre. So it's a four plus dodge. So it always dodges on three plus, and then with break tackle, it's a two plus. Oh, wait, no, no, the break tackle is two more, isn't it? So it's a one plus with break tackle. Unfortunately, break tackle not as good as it used to be. He's got to give it two heads just to be as good as old break tackle. Tragedy. Ooh, basic up here. Yeah, I don't like this. Is just uh, getting, he's just getting instantly punched, isn't he? Okay, well that's better. And there you go, the guard. The guard makes it all work. But the guard, that now just means the guard can get blitzed by him. Which might happen. No, he's blitzing with a roger. Chains in the hit. Gets rewarded with a removal. There you go. Well done, chunts. So these four did win that fight, but of course it is just a three plus with a reroll to escape for the goblin, so quite easy for the goblin to get away. And not difficult for the fireman either. Greedy, <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> it's a decent player to go for, but he's got um, he's got foul appearance, hasn't he? So not that. Good. Surely one of these is foul appearance. No, he's got. <laughs> I guess they're all randoms, right? Just all random mutations. I feel like picking. Uh, Foul appearance would have been better than those, but never mind. No defence to speak of. Chunter gets a 3D a gutter. Slightly better uh, value than a random goblin.
There's no wizard, so just keeping the uh, keeping it on the thrower. So he's got the handoff option, and obviously strength three and sure hands. He gets not like, pretty good. Oh, but the claw mighty is getting claw mightied. And that's not great for Chunter. Hasn't had great dice Zahu thus far. Not a dicing, but definitely on the, uh, you know, getting the worst of it. How old are you? How old are you? Let's just replay all Blood Bowl 2. Nah, I don't think so. Oh, look at that, Kaz. There's been a bit of a dicing thus far. Not, you know, not not ridiculous, but just enough. Make three removals for Chunter. Nothing for Zahu. A mild dicing. I wonder if it was best to cage around this gutter and then foul it. Three, three assists. Maybe even four. Oh man, he's dodging through everything to get the foul on him. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Dead, dead, dead. Wow. There you go. Makes the foul appearance, and then he's going to go on for the foul as well, probably with that dirty plane. All the gutters are swarming in. Doesn't actually have sized up in his gutter, does he, Chunter? He's got sprint sure feet, extra arms, two heads. Foul appearance, so no side stuff. Oh. Who did he fight? Who did he seriously hurt? What? Oh, he punched. He punched the. He punched the snotling. I thought the snotling had fouled somebody. This has been a brutal match. Both sides getting wrecked. So yeah, chains him free and then just has has to score too much pressure. Early score for Chunts. Staring down the barrel of a 2-1 defeat. But can uh, can Zahu start both halves? Is the question. It's going to be a bit harder. Best players, isn't it? Ten players already. No swarming here for Chunter. The uh, rules changed mid-season, didn't they? Which kind of kind of screws this uh, chalice attempt up a bit.
Yeah, it did me. Yeah, Chunter's a dirt bag, isn't he? What a uh, what a vile, vile pitch this is. <sighs> yeah, I shouldn't have started with this match. <laughs> <laughs> I just should have just closed my eyes. Now, now my eyes are going to be destroyed for all the games. I can try just not watching the pitch and just say, "Oh look, you know, Chunt has tried something crazy. It's worked." It'll probably be right. And the Dublin skulls. I don't like his dice either. Don't like his dice. Hate his pitch. I mean, the pitch is horrendous. No. I like this in a way, getting this guy into range obviously because it means you basically have to blitz him now. Because otherwise, you know, something could happen. And this guy's in range as well, so he's got two players in range. Oh well now he's gonna I mean the problem is, <laughs> now he can blitz the gutter, which he does instantly, of course. Yes, and gets Kaz. I think it was better when he only had the, uh, <laughs> when he only had this guy in range. And, uh, but he, his apple works. Look a dog. Key one D. Oh man, this gut has got a dodge from tackle and tail and armbar. He's failed and he's devastated by armbar for absolutely zero effect. Wow. Amazing. And he instantly does a one D block. Two D block. Well, Yes, yeah, a good. Uh, I wonder if it was worth dodging in to hit the ball, and then uh, having this guy to score. Instantly. Battle Bro, oh man, I'll have to play Battle Bros sometime. Keeping him as a safety, fair enough. It's very easy just to dodge away, isn't it? Do you know what's happened, right? It's still scrolling down the bottom here, and it's scrolling left and right, but it's not scrolling up. Isn't that weird? One D. He's having to roll some dice here, isn't he? He's our old Zahu. He's rolled a one. Makes it on the re-roll. Tragically, Crown Bar does absolutely nothing. I kind of hate uh, doing that before standing that guy up. Yep. Bad old ring from Zahu there. And he's also just left a... Uh, oh, Chunter. Wait. No, yeah, Zahu. And Chunter's just got an instant 2D on the ball. He wants to do it. Is the rogue, is the rogue going to do it? He is. Gets the dodge in. Gets the pow. And he's got the ball. Well. This is a little bit tricky, isn't it? For uh, not not too tricky. The problem with these assists is um, would have been if one of those two had caught it, right? But he very luckily does not catch it. He picks it up. He makes it one one. Well, that was that was pretty dodgy for Zahu. I 
and now he's got even less players. Nine players? How many has Chunter got? Eleven still. Oh god. <laughs> and a clan rat has caught the ball. Flip me. The dice continue to be pretty poor for Zar Hugh. I think he was going to Daka, wasn't he? But then he's caught the ball in him, so he can't. Cause he had these two gutters in contact. So maybe he was just going to try and, uh, and Daka. Which seems pretty reasonable, right? Versus outnumbered versus Underworld. Underworld are a bit slow. I don't hate the Daka. Really far away. Oh, Christopher B. Blocks the uh, tackler away, but doesn't keep him based. Which is not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad? Ah, it's because he's sticking the roger on him. Probably should have moved the roger first, right? We should have moved the Ogre first there. So that if he powers him he can put him on the Ogre. Or pushes him and put him on the Ogre. Whereas if you, if if the Ogre hadn't moved there, then you'd have rather pushed him up there and kept him on this goblin. Dead, dead, dead. A rush? Of course, he could have just not rushed. Oh dear, I mean, this was... This wasn't good, was it? <laughs> it wasn't good. He could have just not rushed with this guy, and then also not rushed with the ball. But instead, he rushed with this guy, and then rushed with the ball. Like, was there a reroll there? Or he just was this sure feat? Yeah, no team reroll. Making two GFIs on this turn was pretty terrible. No offense. smashes of course he doesn't need him to get the ball here this is a very easy ball sack instant with the horns guy and the lone gutter can go and get it sudden, Zar Hugh is looking at defeat, just like Varys from Game of Thrones. Is it Varys? I don't know. It's a good line though, I just thought of it just now. Kiting. <laughs> it's funny that bolt throwers make the best kiters, doesn't it? And cannons, like what's up with that? Okay, he dodges, he GFIs, he 2Ds him, he pushes him. Iron oh, Chunter doesn't have sidestep, of course. And he's got such a man advantage here, it's looking like 2 1, isn't it? Obviously, got to go for the thrower, the, the thrower, the tackler. I like that. Or oh, you like that? Not sure about what he's doing here. Is he just going to? He can't just score. Sure. 
Good. Well, now it's working going up. That's so weird. That's Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about this. I've, he could have just like caged it somewhere. I don't like just not caging. Because it's so like you can roll some dice, can't you? Maybe he's hoping for the over the over commit chasing him. And then he'll come back and cage up later, maybe, I don't know. Lovely removal. What a dice load. It's not what I would have done. Is he scoring? That's, uh... What we call in the trade, absolutely fucking terrible. <laughs> I don't understand Chunter's brain. He had a man advantage, he could like easily cage. I mean, I guess the strip is here, right? Wrestle strip. Wrestle tackle strip, is that? But like you've got a gutter. Wrestle strip tackle, yeah. Seems suicide scoring early. But he's done it twice so far in this game. Will it cost him twice? Maybe. Yes, he rolls, that's true. Scoring early is better than not scoring. That's of course true. But, it's certainly better than being turned over and scored on, isn't it? But, uh, it's always better scoring <laughs> early than not scoring. But it's very rare that you should score early. It's almost always worth making the gamble that you know, delay it as long as possible. You always want to score as late as possible, or almost always want to score as late as possible. So, of course, if that late as possible is early, it's still better than not scoring. But you'd rather it was later. Easily beats Skaven every time. Worst team in the game. Easy win. Never struggled once in my life versus Skaven. Plum turnover. Can Chunter do anything here? Maybe. Like he's got to. He's only got three turns left. And he's losing. Oh no, he's winning 2 1. I thought he was losing 2 1. But he's winning 2 1. So he doesn't actually have to do anything. He can just play very defensively. Very defensively. Zaihu has to score. Sorry, it is. Uh, it is 4am in the UK here, for the people watching on YouTube, so that's why I'm not on the top of my game. It's 100% dedicated. 
getting up in the middle of the night to do this game. <laughs> Bleary eyed. 100% dedication to Blood Bowl. Another GFI. He likes GFIs, doesn't he? Does uh, Hugh. Not what I would do. Or is it turn 15? Did he have to GFI? He's got sprint. And sidestep. He didn't have to GFI, did he? That's not free movement. <laughs> I mean, as Skaven, I'd rather have two turns because it means I'd have to play less Blood Bowl. So, I can't argue with that. I'd rather only be playing with Skaven for, for two turns than four turns. Yuck. Oh, well. Greed block. One reroll. And dice to roll the score. I guess it's setting up a 3D on a gutter. Is it his turn 16? We can't actually tell which turn it is here. Oh my god. Kills the roger. Oh, come on. Come on. Right, I don't know which turn it is, but if this is turn 16 and you're two dicing this guy instead of three dicing him, that's terrible. Terrible. Inexcusable. Inexcusable. You have to make that three dice. Come on, man. Come on, man. Now, random per like you know, like random person playing in their le local. Le Why is it? no? Yeah, it's it's in fifteen, but I think it was sixteen for him. And now it's fifty, and now it's going to be sixteen for two and other. The uh, unfortunately, the bug that like means that the away team shows as the home team or whatever or something stupid, and that messes up the replays as well. So I can't actually tell which turn it is. So I think it was sixteen for Zahu. I think. Because otherwise, why would you score, right? You would stall it out for another turn. You know, rather than give Chunter a two turn. And also, he's set up to stop a one turn. So I'm pretty sure it was turn 16. Uh, but yeah, like, you know, if you're a random person in a random league, it's fair enough, isn't it? But if you're in the round, like, round of 16 in in the Chalice, you should, you should be making those blocks three dice, right? Like... There's a good chance this goes to overtime or you lose in normals. Like, you can only... If Zahi was 2-1 behind, he can only win by overtime. Is the only way he can win is by another half. So there's a lot of value in hitting that gutter runner. You have to make it three dice. You just have to. And even if there wasn't a lot, he's got one reroll left. So it's a 1-36 in 36 that he has to use a reroll. Like, it's just... It's really, really, like... I think it is really bad. Like, you know, you can argue that's too harsh to say it's really bad because, you know, obviously, like, really bad... People who are really bad at Blood Bowl are really bad at Blood Bowl, right? Like, you know, they're not, they're not counting assists and all this kind of stuff, right? Not getting the players in range. That's actually really bad, right? But also, that for this level, it's really bad, isn't it, you know? For this level, it's really bad. You should absolutely... Like, there's absolutely no reason not to make that a three dice. Brilliant coaching. Oh, and he gets another reroll. Look a dog. I don't know what Chunter's plan is here. Fill it with a goblin himself. No. Gets in. Gets the pow.
Wait. What happened? He ran out of clock. Oh no. Oh no, Chunter. You big fucking nerd. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, that's a few people we've seen uh, run out of time in this competition. Obviously, don't run out of time is <laughs> a is a good strat. Only ten players for Chunter now. How many for Zayu? He seems to have got a few back. Is that eleven? Is he actually got eleven players? Oh my god, he does. After being outnumbered all game, he's somehow he's made all his kill rolls. And he's men up. Didn't see the chain in time, yeah. Yeah. Do you see the chain guys? Not fast enough. Yeah, he's got cards with the two keys. Can't get him because he's blotch. <laughs> mm, interesting, interesting defensive formation, but gets the gets the ball. Blitzing with a roger. Going straight for the going straight for the the only guy who can knock over the roger and cases him for Big commitment to hit that guy, wasn't it? Two assists. Shouldn't cost him too much. He's got as easily repositionable. Oh, the double skulls. Like obviously that one you couldn't have made a three D, but uh interesting that it could have been that when he was trying to score. Another Kaz. Man, it's been a pretty brutal game. Loads of cars on both sides. Now he does make it three days. Wow. Why is Underworld highlighted? The scape not highlighted. So what what's um what's a bit odd is Chunter's banner is red, right, which makes Oh, you mean on the side? Yeah, they were highlighted up there. Yeah, because it's because it's fucked. It's it, this whole thing, you know, the bug of like which turn it is affects replays. Yeah, yeah, it's made it really annoying. Hopefully, it'll get fixed. You know, this year. <laughs> genuine, genuine hope. <laughs> Hopefully, it gets fixed this year. It'd be nice for it to be working properly before the uh, World Championships, wouldn't it? Oh yes, the most reliable big guy, well done. Well done, Raoga. Biggest impact on the game is to Kaz's own player. Yeah, yeah, on his turn it's still just keep keeping Chunter on the whole game, yeah. Yeah. And then so it it keep, it stays on Chunter and then both turns vanish. Whereas on Chunter's turn the the turn markers come back. But on Zahu's turn, it stays on Chunter, yeah. 
I thought you meant like you know these these players. Obviously these players are, are the right highlighted ones, but yeah. Oh, then then now it's changed. It changed for the turnover. Is it going to cast another player? Yeah, well done. Oh, well done. Oh, the most reliable. What a great player. Oh, you know what? Honestly, I'm sorry, Kale. I apologise. You know, you told me that the Rattog was brilliant, and I doubted you. I doubted you, you know, and pe people said that I was an idiot, and I had to play with the rules, you know, and I was just... I was just talking nonsense. You know, PC was another one that said it's brilliant. And it's like, you know, all these... But they've really showed me, honestly. Now now that we've got Blood Bowl 3, you know, has got the new rules. Now we can all see how majestic the Rat Ogre is. And boy, how do you... My, have I got to eat my words, eh? Oh, the Rat Ogre is the best big guy in the game. Yep. It's certainly been Zahi's best player. <laughs> no, it's not Sith Trooper. Because it can't do the one thing it does on a Skaven team or an Underworld team, which is to get a push for a one turn. I mean, it, it can if you if you get your... You, you know, you could potentially get take the Skaven on Renegades and give it plus two movement and plus agility and dodge. <laughs> and, and, you know, create a gutter runner. <laughs> But, um, if you don't do that, no. The rogue is so bad. So bad. It is good for one turn, though. I'll, I'll give it that. You know, I'm three dice with Juggernaut. It's pretty good for one turns, and you know, and the fact that it will definitely do the blitz on a, on a one turn. Just mopping up now for Zaki, isn't he? Hardly any players for Chunter. Get the gutter out, we're hey. Argue the call fails. Pulls over here. There's still plenty of time to get up and score. No! He's based him. There are no rerolls for Zahi, but none for Chunter now either. And this is just looking like a, a naked 2 plus here to uh, lose the game, right? Oh my god, he's failed it! <laughs> You failed in got cars. <laughs> oh, that's fucking class. <laughs> oh dear me. Well, maybe that was a bad square to stand, are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck me. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Imagine being that much in control and he just had to have the ball like one square further back or like, you know, screened or anything. Anything is just stop him basing it with a tackler. And then he rolls the one and fucking dies. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I mean, that was funny, wasn't it? Other people just being unlucky isn't necessarily funny. But things like that are pretty funny, I think. I don't know Zahu at all, I'm not delighting in his misfortune, I mean, 
I'm not like, haha, Zahi was unlucky, am I? It's just like, it's just, a, it's just a funny, absurd occurrence, isn't it? I'd certainly laughed more at a fucking shithead roger killing its own players. Oh, dear. Hello, a cannon, sir. Oh. Okay, oh, wow. It's crazy how, like, Chunter was, like, loads of players up most game. And struggling. And then when he was, like, loads of players down. He just got handed a 2 plus. Well, a 6 plus to, uh, have something happen and roll it. <laughs> Rogue. <laughs> a rogue going for the ball. I mean, the, to be fair, the 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 dodge in two heads is pretty decent, isn't it? It's dodging on threes all the time. Ones with break tackle. Oh shit! Has he got a chance? He does. It's a two plus. Oh no, it's not. He had a th Wait, why is he passing? Oh, did he already handed off. Oh. Was that the best way to do it? Maybe. Wait. He's PA4+. plus, So it's definitely better to have, uh, like, GFI'd and hand off to somebody else, right? 2 four is better than 5. Because I, you know, don't know what turn it is, and that is over. Well, there you go. Amazing, amazing for Chunter to get all that to the two, three, two win. Looked really bad at one point. Um, he was up players for most of the game, right? And then, um, yeah, yeah. Well, at least he didn't run out of time, did he, Chunter? <laughs> yeah, it was great. Honestly, Chunter, the highlight. The highlight, the highlight was his player dodging and dying. <laughs> that was fantastic. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he did well to hang in when he was getting banged out. But then, funnily enough, when he had all the cards and the big advantages when he lost, wasn't it? A funny, funny old game. Well, there you go. Uh, congratulations, Crystal Hunter. Commiseration Zahu, thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.